Here we're going to look at the nucleophilic addition reactions of aldehydes and ketones. This is for the OCR A-level chemistry course. They are applicable to other syllabuses, uh, but you may need to just check to make sure that your mechanisms are, are the same. What you're going to be expected to do for OCR is to draw the mechanism, identify the reagents, and identify the conditions for the reactions. So here, first of all, we're going to look at an aldehyde. So if we start off uh, with ethanol, now we're going to convert ethanol by reducing it into an alcohol, and the alcohol we're going to make from this will be ethanol. Now here we have our reducing agent, so we can represent our reducing agent in a uh, simple equation to identify exactly what is happening, but this doesn't give us the full picture. Now this reducing agent that we're going to use is NaBH4. Now NaBH4 is a source of hydride ions. So this is going to be our nucleophile. So if we remember that a nucleophile is an electron pair donor. So our nucleophile from NaBH4 is going to donate a pair of electrons to the carbon on our aldehyde. So let's have a look at the mechanism that's actually involved for this. So if you look at the, uh, the uh, carbonyl group on the aldehyde, we will have a delta negative oxygen because the oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon, so it draws the electrons towards the oxygen. And we have a delta positive carbon here because the electrons are spending more time, they're pushed towards the, to the oxygen more. Now, our hydride ion, our nucleophile, has the pair of electrons here, which is going to donate to the carbon. This is going to repel the electrons in the double bond towards the oxygen. We'll have an intermediate here. Which has the hydrogen added to it. And we have our negatively charged oxygen there. Um, because the electrons have been repelled away. Now, when we talk about conditions in a moment, you'll see where this comes from. But we also have a water molecule here, which is where the hydrogen comes from to form the alcohol group. So the lone pair of electrons on the intermediate is donated to the hydrogen. This breaks off and a bond will form between the oxygen and the hydrogen here. So this is our product, our alcohol, our ethanol product. We also produce the OH minus ions as well. So these are released from the water. Now I said that we talk about the source of the water. So the water is come from the reagents and conditions. So we've talked about the reagents. We need an aldehyde. We need NaBH4, our reducing agent, which is the source of the hydride ion. And we also want this to be aqueous ethanol. So this is our source of water molecules. So this is the mechanism for, uh, for aldehydes. For ketones, it's pretty much the same type of mechanism. The same conditions will be used. We'll just run through an example of that now. So if we look at propanone, for our example, we'll be able to see that the mechanism is fairly similar. So here is propanone. Our hydride ion from our reducing agent, NaBH4, is our nucleophile donating a pair of electrons to the carbon. So here is our intermediate again, the same principle, we have aqueous eth ethanol, so we have lots of water molecules available, this lone pair of electrons will be donated to the hydrogen, 
and forms a bond to make the alcohol group. My mistake there, I've just uh, flipped this around. So the hydrogen there was originally in. Uh, there's no particular reason why I've done that, it's just a mistake. So here is our uh, propan propanol that we've produced. And this is from reducing a ketone to an alcohol. So in our two reactions, when we reduce the aldehyde, we make ourselves a primary alcohol. When we reduce our ketones, we make a secondary alcohol here. Don't forget to look back at the year 12 work on aldehydes and ketone to appreciate that this is a, uh, a secondary alcohol and that, that would form a, an aldehyde would form a primary alcohol as well. There are further reactions to look at. What we also need to look at is making is the reaction with cyanide. So if we react an aldehyde or a ketone with hydrogen cyanide, we end up making ourselves a hydroxy nitrile. So let's look at an example for this reaction and we will look at propanone again. Here we have delta negative oxygen, delta positive carbon. If we use hydrogen cyanide, we are, we've got ourselves a source of cyanide ions to act as our nucleophile in this reaction. So here the cyanide ion is the nucleophile donating a pair of electrons to the carbon, pushes the electrons towards the oxygen. So the cyanide is connected as a nitrile group. And we have our oxygen here with our negative charge because the electrons have been repelled away. Now we have a source here of hydrogen ions, so we have a source of protons, which this lone pair of electrons will be donated towards. This will form an alcohol group as before. And we have a hydroxy nitrile. So for this particular reaction, our source of H plus here is slightly different. In our previous reaction, the source of, uh, of the hydrogen here to form the alcohol group was water. Now in this mechanism, our source is sulfuric acid. So we use a small amount of sulfuric acid with our hydrogen cyanide. Now we wouldn't use hydrogen cyanide in reality because hydrogen cyanide is a toxic gas and in reality, we would use either potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide and react that with a small amount of acid to produce our supply of cyanide ions in the reaction. So I hope that's helped you, helped explain the mechanisms. Please look back, rewind, go through the mechanisms again and have a look and see what you think.